anymore. <laughs> nah, it's game time, so I had to sharpen up a little bit. There you go. How yeah. excited are you for week one? I mean, I can't wait. I really can't. We've prepared so hard, gone through a uh, really hard spring, really hard summer, and I think we're ready to roll. So I think everyone's just kind of chomping at the bit. What was this offseason like for you? The decision to come back, the battle with Preston, winning that that starting job again? Um, I mean, I guess it was a little tough going from uh, being a captain here, uh, breaking records here, breaking conference records, and then uh, telling, getting told I'm going to compete. So I stayed true to myself, stayed true to what I do, and um, worked out in the end. Did, did the decision to name you the starter, like, kind of fairly early in camp, did that give you, like, even more confidence in yourself? I, I really wasn't worried about it. Um, like I said, stay true to myself, just compete the way I always compete. Um, I mean, I think we both had good camps. The whole team had a great camp, and that's what I was focused on, is getting, ready, getting the team ready for, uh, for game one and to go win games. And uh, the whole starting thing was uh, kind of backseat to, to getting focused on winning, on winning games. What was your reaction to Austin getting 23, and, and, and how much do you think he, he values that? I mean, there's no one more deserving. Austin works hard as anybody. He's been here for a long time. He's paid his dues. Um, for someone to represent 23, I'm, I'm really happy it's him. They always say, or people always say, that quarterbacks can really take a jump from year one to year two. And obviously, you had experience before starting last year. But I guess what kind of jump have you maybe felt in practice? Or is it maybe something you need to see jump in the game? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. I think for me, it was just getting comfortable with a new new offense, a new coordinator, new um, new players. I mean, we look around, there's a lot of new guys, a lot of new faces. So I think from spring to fall, I think we've all made a big jump. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's been the most impressive thing that I've seen. And uh, yeah, just, just playing with new guys and uh, getting comfortable with them. Speaking of new guys, obviously, You've been around very talented running backs before. Um, Kamar Wheaton's a guy that you know is still kind of working back, but has shown a couple of flashes here. What have you seen from a guy from an ability standpoint? With Kamar? Yeah, Kamar. I mean, Kamar's got some juice for sure. I mean, there's reason why he was uh, at Alabama, and um, yeah, he's definitely got some pop. So definitely excited for him. How how important is kind of that? Not only comfort level, but an understanding with Coach Lashley calling plays of of kind of understanding why he's calling plays and, and kind of that, that connection between you two throughout the, the course of a game? I think it's really important. I think it's uh, very important that the quarterback and the play caller are uh, on the same page, um, make sure that he's calling stuff that I like and that um, I'm able to execute what he wants me to execute. And I think that's a huge, huge deal that we're on the same page, whether it's calls or uh, coverages and um, checks, whatever it is, I think it's extremely important. Um, the push for a championship, I mean, you've been you talking about it all off season. I mean, now that the games are here, do you kind of change the approach? You know, you got to keep it more week to week or how do you um, talk about that? Yeah, it's, it's the main goal is definitely championship. But to get there, you got to take week by week. Uh, you got to prepare like this is your last week, your week you're going to play and you're going to have to play that game that, that way. And uh, just focus on uh, each opponent. No opponent's more important than the other. And yeah, take it week by week. And if we do that the right, right way, we'll find find ourselves where we want to be. Is last year the way, because you guys start off as you start off 7-0 and and then finish 1-4, is maybe last year kind of, I guess, a, a reminder of that? Like, hey, you, you kind of have to do the entire season. No, yeah, there's no doubt. We have to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, the word finish has been a big thing um, in our program. And it's going to continue to be. That's, that's, that's it. You got to finish. We didn't finish last year whatsoever, obviously. And um, yeah. We'll see what we're made of in November. And just what what has it been like, you know, continuing to work with with this group of receivers? I know, you know, had a couple go down at the end of fall camp, and maybe got some other guys involved. Just that entire group. What's it been like working with them this whole time? I mean, it's awesome. Um, we're really deep. It's kind of a next man up mentality right now. Uh, but I think we'll be we'll be fully healthy pretty soon before before y'all know it. Um, but right now. We got a really, group, really good group of talented dudes. Uh, we got guys that can do it all. Um, I mean, across the board, I feel comfortable with every, every guy in the field. So I'm really lucky to be able to throw to those guys.